today's class we shall be learning about camps which are being conducted in ncc keeping the aims and objectives of ncc in mind ncc trainings are being conducted in various institutions ncc camps are the manifestations of trainings imparted to the cadets with this as a brief introduction i come to the aim of today's class that is to acquaint the trainees with various types of camps organized in ncc for ease of understanding we shall be learning the topic in two separate parts in part 1 we shall be learning about various camps being conducted at various levels and in part 2 we shall be learning about each camps in brief we will be covering this part in separate video moving on to part 1 types of camps let us now learn the meaning of camp it can be defined as a place where people live in tents or simple building temporarily away from their usual home it is done for a specific purpose the aim of camp may be for fun get together or adventure activities in ncc various types of camps are being organized maybe under the aegis of ncc directorates or it can be centrally organized camps and tracks camps conducted by ncc directorate following types of camps are being organized by ncc directorates they are annual training camp or combined annual training camp in short we can call it atc or catc and social service camps camps which are centrally organized are basic leadership camp advanced leadership camp republic day camp army attachment camp adventure and trekking camp ek bharat shreshth bharat camp rock climbing training camp independence day camp and national integration camp let us now understand the importance importance of camps it is the practical manifestations of training imparted at institutional level ncc camps are being organized with the following aims to introduce the regimented military way of life it focuses on developing camaraderie teamwork leadership qualities self confidence self reliance and dignity of labor in cadets it also gives exposure to camp life wherein theoretical knowledge imparted in the institutional training are being practically applied having learned about what is a camp and its importance in ncc training in part 1 we have seen what is camp and its importance in today's class we shall be learning in brief about each camps annual training camp or combined annual training camp it is conducted at directorate level with an aim to instill the core values of ncc it is generally conducted for 15 to 30 days duration the aim of this camp is to develop character camaraderie discipline and leadership qualities the camp is generally planned during the vacation of various institutions after deliberate planning and recce the camp site is decided by the group commander after consulting the unit commanders annual training camp or combined annual training camp is part of the events scheduled in the training year the duration for senior division is 14 days for junior division it is 10 days 
for senior wing cadets it is 12 days and for junior wing cadets the camp is conducted for 10 days character building the effort is directed towards strengthening and improving cadets character the aim is to help them develop various human qualities like moral healthy critical successful traditional compliant and turn them into a socially acceptable and responsible citizens character traits following character traits are focused upon and instilled during annual training camp or the combined annual training camp responsibility of the individuals teach them the importance of hard work and perseverance kindness patience honesty courage these are the primary character traits instilled during camps leadership qualities following leadership qualities are also being inculcated amongst the cadets during the camp honesty and integrity where an individual is truthful and accurate to his actions there is no compromise to moral and ethical values and principle the cadet is trained to be able to develop that quality with which he will be able to inspire others sometimes life do pose different options wherein we have to decide the correct choice and live by it a leader is responsible and accountable for his own actions and the persons under his command other leadership qualities imparted during camps are ability to delegate and empower his subordinates creative thinking and innovations military discipline it can be defined as the state of order and obedience which exists in a command self discipline in military is where soldiers do three rights right place right time and right dress in the absence of commander and observation discipline in a unit is created by instilling a sense of confidence and responsibility in each individual military discipline is important to train mind and character it also helps in building a sense of self control and practice of obedience military disciplines are being imparted during the camp through the following proven methods that is the specially designed camp routine self example by various staff drill regular briefing of the events and orders competitions and the punishments are also awarded to those who do wrong things social service camps one of the major aims of ncc to provide some effective social service towards the citizen of the country the aim of this camp is to instill amongst cadets the selfless service importance of self help need to protect the environment and assist the weaker section of the society towards their uplift following activities are being carried out under the social service camps provision of adult educations tree plantation drive blood donations by cadets and the staff campaign is also conducted against the dowry system spreading the awareness of anti female infanticide pledge anti leprosy drive aids awareness rally 
it also provides help in slum clearance and during disaster the ncc cadets also do come out to assist the government agencies the ncc cadets also encourages the citizen to follow and work towards swachh bharat mission this camp also spreads the awareness of pollution control few important guidelines which need to be kept in mind before the conduct of camp cadets shall not undertake any menial tasks all activities during the camp should be kept in mind about the risk factor of the cadets all activities will be coordinated with the local administrations or non governmental organizations the main motive of conducting this camp will be to create awareness amongst the citizens events plans must ensure participation of local populace wherever possible we should also encourage the synergy between the youth organization and other organizations and it must be exploited ek bharat shreshth bharat camp the aim of this camp is to make cadets understand and value the rich heritage of culture that forms unity despite the diverse languages traditions and religions of our country the concept of this camp is by pairing the states as a host and a guest state wherein the rich culture and traditions are being exchanged generally this camp is conducted for the duration of 15 to 20 days methodology guest state directorates sends the participation of 100 cadets and the host state directorates conduct the camp with approximately 500 cadets there is also the exchange of cultural events key activities conducted during ek bharat shreshth bharat camps are corporate living identification translation and dissemination of 10 to 15 most commonly used sentence in their respective states preparation and distribution of small booklets to the cadets as a knowledge guide about each other this camp also gives the opportunity to, to taste and learn about cuisines and food habits of respective states it also gives the opportunity to the cadets to wear attire of paired states the presentations are also being conducted on states which include history cultural heritage customs and traditions and economy by the cadets educational tours are also being conducted to the places of historical and tourist importance local movies are also screened with cadets of host states who assist in translation basic leadership camp the aim of this camp is to develop the leadership trait in cadets and build confidence amongst the cadet the camp duration lasts from 10 to 15 days the main focus of basic leadership camps are imparting leadership traits improvement of public speaking it also gives guidance for ssb preparation develop leadership qualities gives the spirit of sports competitions 
cultural events and the debate competitions advanced leadership camps the aim for the conduct of advanced leadership camp is to guide and prepare cadets for service selection board interview this camp lasts for the duration of 10 to 15 days there are total of 6 camps conducted annually during the camp the cadets get an opportunity to interact with officers from all the three services special emphasis are being laid upon the development of leadership traits public speaking guidance for ssb preparation republic day camp it is one of the most prestigious camp conducted in ncc its aim is to represent all parts of india as mini india the camp is conducted from 1st january to 29th january every year a total of approximately 2770 cadets take part in republic day camp the camp is conducted at garrison parade ground delhi camp the camp is officially inaugurated by the vice president of india and it culminates with the prime minister's rally on 28 january there are various competitions conducted amongst the directorates army attachment camps these camps are conducted with the armed forces units these camps gives the experience to the cadets about the functioning and life in military units types of attachment trainings regular army units annually there are about 440 anos and 20000 cadets which attend attachment training for 21 days there is also attachment training with the indian military academy dehradun for 120 senior division cadets at officers training academy chennai 48 senior dfw senior correction senior wing cadets take part in the training about 100 senior wing cadets are sent to military hospitals for 12 days there is also attachment training conducted at air force academy tundigal wherein 76 senior division 24 senior wing cadets take part in this attachment training it is conducted twice in a year for a duration of 13 days there is also attachment training carried out at air force stations annually 20 anos and 200 cadets take part in naval indian naval academy annually there are about 170 senior wing cadets which attend the attachment training for the duration of 12 days naval ship attachment it is conducted twice in a year for 300 cadets from naval wing it is conducted for the duration of 12 days advantages of attachment camps it gives the first hand exposure to the life in services after the training the cadets are highly motivated to join the armed forces it also gives the closer look at the training and the modalities of conduct of training next camp is the national integration camp the aim of this camp is to make cadets understand and value the rich heritage of cultures that forms unity despite the diverse languages traditions and religions of our country there are total of 37 national integration camps conducted annually in addition to that 
there are six, six special national integration camps which are conducted in the far corners of our country at Leh or Srinagar in Jammu and Kashmir, Dimapur in Northeastern Region Directorate, Peddapuram in Kakinada, Badabak in Jaisalmer, Lakshadweep and Port Blair. The duration of NIC camp is 30 days. The main focus of National Integration Camp is to spread the awareness of national integration and also to bring about the cultural awareness. Youth Exchange Program The aim of this camp is to create an increased awareness and appreciation of each other's socio-economic and cultural realities. These camps are conducted abroad. Annually, more than 100 cadets proceed abroad on youth exchange program. NCC has a vibrant youth exchange program with 10 of the friendly foreign countries. The duration for the camp varies from 10 to 12 days. This exchange program share a strong bonds with our youth exchange program partners. Adventure Camp In NCC, adventure camps are also being conducted with an aim to provide the knowledge of the topography and experience of different weather conditions and adventurous living under camp conditions. These camps give the opportunity to inculcate the spirit of adventure, explorative, develop stamina, endurance, discipline, courage, determination, and leadership. Ultimately, it leads to the development of self-confidence, team spirit, and esprit de corps. Following are the adventure camps being conducted by NCC. Mountaineering Expeditions, All India Trekking Expeditions, Camel Safari, Parasailing, Cycle and Motorcycle Rallies, Sailing Expeditions, Sea Sorties, Mountaineering Camps, and Basic Para Course. Despite adventure activities, sports competitions are also being organized in NCC. They are NCC National Games, All India GB Molankar Shooting Competition, Equestrian Events, Jalal Nehru Cup Hockey Tournament, Subroto Cup Football Tournament, and Sailing Regatta. Few guidelines for the conduct of these camps. There shall be no compromise on safety and security of the cadets. The camps should be planned in the proximity to a service establishment. Exam schedules must be kept in mind before the planning of camp. The officers stay in the camp for the entire duration to ensure the safety and security. These camps are also visited by group commanders and additional director generals, deputy director generals to centrally organized camps. NCC is the largest youth force in the world. The opportunity to imbibe the quality of good and responsible citizen are being imparted during NCC camps. With this, we have come to the end of various types of camps in NCC. Thank you and Jai Hind.